Residents of Mortis Maikoni relate how the flood waters are affecting their livelihoods in this Narima Ali report. The residents of the Maikoni Branch Road in Region 5 have been forced to cope with the floods that several communities have encountered due to the heavy rainfalls, high tide, and overchopping canals that contribute to the flood situation. Mr. Inderjeet Prasad of Washclose Village Maikoni related these details. This flood that we are having is actually the highest we have experienced in this part of Guyana. And the older folks who are still alive, they will relate to us the different levels of the water. It all started like about a month ago due to excessive rainfall. And once the rain falls to this extent, the Mahaika River and the Maikoni River cannot take off the water. The water is coming from the highland and it's coming into Maikoni. Residents are devastated. Cash crop, cattle in the back dam, sheep, goat, other livestock, as well as the rice industry. It has almost gone to a standstill. He disclosed that the government has been assisting, but the water still is not being drained from the communities. The government, they've been doing all that they can. They've been building dams, they've been creating drainage outlets, and they have partnered with the private sector as well. While the flood is here and the high marks are working and they've set up pumps to alleviate the problem, at the same time, they're ensuring that people, nutrition are met, and at the same time, too, the medical team has been here on a daily basis. So we're looking at the moment at hygiene, and we're looking to put food on the table for them. That's the best that we can do. Mr. Prasad continued by explaining that the residents are working together to make a way through these trying times. Well, we have been asking people to stay calm. Those who are frustrated, we have been reaching out to them. And what can we do? I mean, we've been helping out each other as a community and there will always be varying opinions. We're trying to calm, to bring that calming influence and we hope that it can work at this time. But I can safely say to you, there is not one house in this area that is short of anything to eat at the moment. They're having good assistance from the private sector. Ms. Kavita Bay of Mortis Maikoni was disheartened when she shared these details. This is mostly a farming community, so people are around here depends mostly on cattle and there are mostly rice farmers and cattle farmers here. Some people do a little bit of livestock too and they cash crops and it's really affecting people because and right now supposed to be the farmers are were expected to start preparing back their lands to start cultivating um, the rice crop for the second crop because remember there are two crops a year. And due to this flood, I think it put everything to a halt. The rice farmers, they're left st stranded. They're just thinking what will be the next move they, because all the fields are covered with water. She continued by saying. Just a few farmers, I think they already had like week old rice. So they who had that, they're trying to save pumping out the water as much as they can to save whatever they had already planted. But the, the other percentage of farmers, they hadn't done anything and it's really affecting them because lots of them have the loans and so to repay to the banks. So I think they're left pondering at this moment because what will be the next move? Several other communities across Region 5 are still flooded, resulting in damage to livestock, cash crops and household items. Residents are urged to avoid getting into contact with stagnant water, which can harbor and spread disease-causing organisms. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.